Sorry, we're late. Gus wanted to stop for Jamba Juice. <laughs> no, I didn't. You wanted to go inside because you had a coupon. <laughs> It's true. I'm addicted to the Mango Agaga. <laughs> it's Mango Agogo. I've heard of both ways. <laughs> anyway, there was a break in at the bookstore last night. It's gonna be a tricky one, Spencer. I hope you brought your A game. Consider it brought. Brought? Brought? <laughs> Consider it brought, <rotten>, Lassie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sensing that this robbery was committed by a woman, a blonde. How do you know that? There's a long strand of blonde hair over there. Where? You're pointing over a hundred feet away, Sean. <laughs> <laughs> Great. There must be thousands of blondes at BYU. I'm sensing that she's a natural blonde. <laughs> Down to like 20 tops. Get on. <laughs> Excuse me, you work night security here. My name is Sean Spencer, psychic detective, and this is my partner, Bomb Giant Spillabuster. <laughs> We'd like to ask you some questions about the murder that happened here last night. Well, it wasn't murder, it was robbery. Don't worry, I'm sure midway through the episode it will somehow turn into a murder case. <laughs> well, I was patrolling and someone snuck up behind me and hit me over the head. I'm sorry to hear that. If you ever need to talk to someone, here's my call. My personal number's on the back. <laughs> Dude, you're being creepy. No, I was being a gentleman. No, you're being creepy. No, you don't even touch me. <laughs> Thank you for your time, officer. Let's check out the shelf the books were taken from. Oh, do you smell that? Of course I do. I smelled it from across the room. Nothing gets by the super sniffer. <laughs> it's ammonia. <laughs> you all done here? There's work to be done. <laughs> do you work here? No, I come in for fun. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you'll have to excuse my friend. He suffers from chronic bedwetting. <laughs> How does that apply? It doesn't, but I like saying it. <laughs> My name is Sean Spencer. I'm a psychic with the BYU Police Department, and this is my partner, White Chocolate. <laughs> I'm sensing that you recently injured your pinky. Wow, what gave it away? Was it the giant bandage on my hand? That, and I'm also psychic, so... <laughs> Guess we're getting nowhere. We've interviewed two people. What we need is help, and I know where to get it. Wait. Wait for it. Wait for it. I guess. <laughs> Sean, I need you to come to my house and do something. What is it? It doesn't matter. I just need a chance every episode to come talk to you so you can ask me for help. <laughs> you two chat while I head on over to the candy counter and give you some of those chocolate covered cinnamon bears. <laughs> Dad, I can't figure this one out. Sean, as usual, you've overlooked something. You just need to be focused. Close your eyes, Sean. How many hats are in the room? Dad, none. It's just me and your bald head. Who's got a bald head? No. Wait, hats. I got it. <laughs> See you next episode. Sean, you found some long blonde hair. So looks like you were right about it being a woman. Oh, I'm getting something. Disgruntled employees, honor code violations, Carl G. Mazo. <laughs> you. You don't like working here, do you? Of course I don't. I'm a custodian. I can see it now. The stress finally got to you, so you decided to steal the textbooks in revenge. But the night security guard startles you, and you cut your finger on the textbook. You knock the security guard out from behind, and then you use your ammonia cleaning agents to wipe up the blood from the spill. Okay, I admit it, I stole the textbooks. You know that's right. But the rest of that story was complete nonsense. Never even seen that security guard before, let alone knock her out. Oh, that's right, I, I just slipped and hit my head. I don't know where I got the whole I was attacked thing. <laughs> Probably just a cry for attention. <laughs> <laughs> I 
So that long blonde hair we found, where did it come from? Was it from somebody else? No. Reveal! <laughs> Seems that the custodian here... <laughs> ...has been growing... Custodian here has been growing his hair unbeknownst to the university. I'm fairly certain that the hair belonged to him, though I'm not yet willing to rule out Fabio. Right. <sighs> it does look fabulous, right? Oh, wait, Sean. I thought I'd come back for this episode's moment of romantic tension between us. store gets its ridiculously overpriced textbooks back. That makes you feel dirty all over, doesn't it? <laughs> At least we got done in time for lunch. Mm, you know that's right. Fine. <laughs>